gross if you ask me. You can see an employee washing his feet in a sink. Uncle, don't wash your feet in public. Assalamu alaikum, what's going on everybody? So, this video recently made news headlines. You can see an employee washing his feet in a sink near a coffee machine and grill station. The employee says it was time to pray and that requires washing of the hands, face, arms and feet five times a day. Now it's unclear if there was a more private area to prep for prayer, but our Rudy Harper talked to both the employee and the woman who saw it happen. That was for my prayer time. Your prayer time. Oh, prayer so time. that's why you had to wash your yeah, feet. Yeah, wash your hand, face, and feet. And feet. Yeah. But do you think it's okay to do that in the sink in the public where people can see you? No. Yo, who, whose uncle is this? Guys, someone come claim their uncle. Uncle on aisle nine. He's making a mess. Honestly, when I first saw this video making the news, I was like, how slow is the news today? Seriously. What, the media can't find any Muslims committing terrorism? So instead they run with this? I can just imagine the mainstream media picking this up. This just in. An extremist Muslim was caught jihading at a 7-Eleven. Victims said they witnessed the terrorists put their foot in the sink, terrorizing innocent cups, dishes, and spoons. Two customers could not bear the image. One died on the spot. One required wakes of therapy. Once he was done waging jihad against the sink, one witness mentioned they heard him yell the Muslim praise for God, Allah Hu Akbar. Of course, seeing this video make the news, it really got me wondering, is everything Muslims do newsworthy? Are we that important to you? We honestly didn't know we held such a high position in your heart. But I mean, come on, everything? Sheesh, give us a break. Like, what's next? Are you gonna report on everything? <sighs> this just in. A Muslim just snazed on a public road. Jihad through bacteria. And then you look at the x-axis and the y-axis and you figure out where he went wrong in life. This just in. A Muslim just yawned in class. Muslims find democracy boring. Jihad creeps as the Muslim sleeps. So all of this was really, really starting to get on my nerves. Yammi, leave Muslims alone. Zahatuni, zahatuna. Go report real news. Go report real news. Leave the Muslim alone. But then it hit me. I just remembered what brown uncles look and sound like when they do wudu. Bro, it's scary. Even for Muslims. For example, when I was in university, we would go to the prayer room to pray. And if we wanted to wash up and make wudu, we'd do it in the nearby bathroom. However, if it was full, you'd see Muslims going to other faraway bathrooms to do wudu. All right, and for non-Muslims who don't know what wudu is, it is like a washing ritual we do before we pray. We wash our hands, we wash our mouth, nose, face, arms. We wipe our hair, ears, feet. Or in the words of one of my colleagues, Mo, are you taking a bath? It's really not that time consuming and you're supposed to use minimal water and avoid waste and it's supposed to be more of a calming process and a cleaning ritual process before you pray. But some people go a little too far. Which brings me to the uncles. Unfortunately, when these brown uncles make wudu, it sounds like someone's dying. And the poor non-Muslim in the back who's just trying to wash his hands in the sink is like, Um, s s sir, are, are, are you okay? It, it sounds like you're drowning. Should I call 911? <laughs> And people, people, my Muslim brothers and sisters, please, please do not put your foot in the sink. It freaks people out. How about when in public you wear socks? Trust me, it makes everyone's life so much easier, especially yours. In conclusion, this whole story is unnecessary. But since they ran with it and it's gone somewhat viral, here is my message to Muslims. Yes. Don't be afraid or ashamed of your religion. Do not let anyone prevent you from praying, be it at work or at school or anywhere else. However, know your audience. If you are in a non-Muslim majority country and you are in school or at work where the majority of the people are non-Muslim and putting your foot in the sink will leave everyone in shock, then please plan accordingly. 
The wudu process is supposed to be a calm process and you're supposed to use minimal water to avoid waste. So please, don't be too loud, don't leave a mess behind, and present yourself and your religion in the best manner possible. Thank you very much for watching. I'm that Muslim guy. Don't put your feet in the sink. And until next time, assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you.